Yeah, I was working on a story at Sacramento Executive Airport yesterday when this aircraft passed by on its way to the hangar. My photographer and I noticed these odd attachments on the wings. You can see them right there. So we asked the pilot about them. It turns out that plane is a cloud seeding aircraft and it was flying through this morning's rain. The cloud seeding today was done by SMUD as a way to help increase stream flows to allow for more hydroelectric power generation. Here's the basic science. Clouds form when billions of tiny water vapor particles condense onto dust and other microscopic particles to form water droplets. Those dust particles are called cloud condensation nuclei. Big phrase there. So you can think of them as cloud seeds. Every cloud has them, but not every cloud has enough to produce rain. That's where cloud seeding comes in. It's a weather modification technique that adds more of these tiny particles to the lower part of the atmosphere. That's done with aircraft like what you just saw or ground-based generators. The goal is to make the clouds more effective rain and snow producers. Silver iodide is the most commonly used cloud seed. And while silver is a very toxic heavy metal in large quantities, environmental research shows that cloud seeding is not likely to be harmful to wildlife, although it may reduce the growth of algae and other bacteria in freshwater systems. Still, cloud seeding operations are carefully monitored to ensure that it's safe for the environment and for us. But now the question, does it work? Cloud seeding has been used